Fake news. Content versus context. Let's take a break from the art and science of storytelling to understand a reason why fake news is becoming a popular phrase nowadays. It's beyond political. It ties back to the fundamental nature of storytelling. If you think propaganda is new, then, buddy, I have some history books to show you. From those history books I share, how many of its material is set out to fit under a certain agenda? The whole pandemic of fake news comes down to the idea of content versus context. Average minds don't know the difference. They'll say the phrase context a bunch, however, they don't understand its true meaning. Not being able to distinguish content from context leads to brainwashing. Brainwashing is a story that's believed, whether the story is true or not. What's the difference between content and context? Content is visible, while context is invisible. Content includes the words, passages, and paragraphs. Context represents the theme. There was this one time I had a dream, or you can call it a nightmare. There was a guy who was stealing something from my car. I left my phone in my car as I went to the grocery shop. As I came out of the grocery shop, I see this guy successfully breaking through my window and is on the verge of stealing my phone. That's when I snapped. I hate thieves. I go up to the person and start smashing his face, punching him till he's black and blue, literally. As I'm beating him up, that's when nearby people come and see me attacking him. They decide to record me. The recorded video goes viral on Worldstar. I start getting flooded with messages from friends, family members, and co-workers sending me the video asking, Oh my god, Armani, is this you? I say, yes, but there's a reason why I'm being so violent. Not only do I hate thieves, in the context of the dream, someone stole from me earlier that week, which made this thief stealing from me the final straw. Are you seeing what I'm trying to share? Focusing only on the content without remotely asking for the context will lead to incomplete information. That incomplete information will reduce our decision tree of understanding. The decision tree is the degree of possibilities that our mind has. The smaller the decision tree, the worse off our judgment is. As a storyteller, we need to be seeking context. The context is important to a storyteller, like utensils are important to someone who doesn't like to eat with their hands. Often, you can prime your mind to look for the context in any occurrences. A lot of platitudes are just that. Platitudes. They aren't final truths which are never meant to be questioned. When a platitude is seen as a law, that's when a lot of incomplete information arises. I recall this moment when a person in the KFC drive through was yelling at the cashier. I could hear her yells as I was pulling into the parking lot. Why was this customer being so mean? Hasn't she ever heard of the platitude, you can always judge someone based on how they treat the service? I guess this woman who was yelling at the cashier was just a bad person. That's when I go past her and enter the drive through myself. This was supposed to be a fast food place, Instead, I end up waiting 30 minutes in the drive through to finally place my order. Soon as I get to the area to make my order, the lady greets me with, Yeah, go. Is that how you greet a customer? Whatever, I'm not going to make a fuss. I ask for my order. As I'm giving the order, she says, Nah, you can't do that. I wanted to replace one side item for another item. I do that all the time in the orders. However, she was saying that it was not possible. At this point, I'm getting agitated. I already waited 30 minutes, and now I'm dealing with someone who doesn't know how to do her job. Did I yell at her? Nah. I go to that fast food restaurant too much. But do I understand why the lady in front of me was yelling at her? Hell yeah. Is this the politically correct statement to say? Armani, are you really saying you think it's okay to berate a cashier for the service? Depends on the context. If they're rude first, not doing their jobs and making a mockery out of the fast food title, then is it really berating? Or is it providing feedback? This feedback just happens to be loud. 
Notice what's going on here. Context is not always pretty. As we find the context, it requires a whole bunch of getting our hands dirty and actively seeking out more information. Any bubba can recite a platitude and leave it at that. That's easy. It requires zero to minimum critical thinking skills. Storytellers are born from being a refined rebel. They don't give a shit if something is politically correct or not. If you're a man, allow the idea to be the king and yourself to be the prince. If you're a woman, allow the idea to be the queen and yourself to be the princess.